Fiona. Alistair, prepare an early morning breakfast basket. Mr. Osborne and I will be going on an early shoot in the morning, before all the guests begin to arrive. Have my guns cleaned and the hounds ready. The pheasant are plentiful this year. Hopefully you have everything prepare for them. I trust you will. You've never let me down. You both are the best staff a gentleman could ask for. Don't you worry sir, we have everything under control. It will all be lovely sir, I promise. Thank you Fiona. Not to worry sir. All the cottages are ready and stocked. The manor house is spick and span. I've personally seen to the farmhouse it has everything they will need. I've even prepared a fresh turkey for the American guest. I read they like them for the holiday. Fionn has even decorated a Christmas tree for them, sir. Excellent, Alistair. Good man. You are a real treasure. Do be sensitive to our guests from around the world who do not celebrate Christmas. Make sure that Sheikh Mohammed al Ahmadi's party and Li Wei have whatever they need. They both like their fine scotch, but neither are public drinkers, so make sure their private rooms are stocked with the best. Yes, sir. Will that be all for tonight, sir? Yes, again thank you Alistair, and thank you Fiona. Sleep well and see you both bright and early tomorrow. We have some exciting times in the days ahead. Perfect morning for a hunt, sir. Yes, Nigel it is. A bit foggy but otherwise perfect. Shall I set up the rifles and have the dogs flush out the birds, sir? Not just yet. Let's just enjoy the sunrise and maybe talk a bit about the week to come. Everyone has sent the RSVPs and confirmed. Ms. Beecham and her party are coming by the Orient Express and are on their way. Very good. Terry said they are stopping in Paris for a day. Mr. Dehati and Ms. Morgan have left Los Angeles with a reporter of some kind, cable TV or internet show and their stylist. The Trentons are taking their private jet tomorrow from New York. Excellent. I'll be glad to see Larry again. Wait until you meet the Tentons. They are ridiculous and ridiculously wealthy. Mrs. Trenton looks like a real live pink Barbie doll. Mr. Petrovich and his assistant should be arriving here from Moscow tomorrow also. They have arranged their own transportation from the airport. You remember Pavel, don't you, Nigel? He is a barbarian, a Russian bear more like a circus bear. He is funny but a liar and a thief. He and his comrades in Moscow have stolen billions from the Russian people. He is your stereotypical kleptocrat. His inside connections with the Kremlin keep him out of jail or from being murdered. He and I have had some business, but with him it is always pleasure first, then business. Then more vodka. Then pleasure again, and still more vodka. Watch him, Nigel. He has money we could use, but do not trust him or be persuaded by his charm. Knowing him, you can assume he is lying and is wired. Be careful what you say around him. Yes, sir. I will, sir. Sheikh Alamadi is coming alone this time and should arrive at Heathrow day after tomorrow. I'd arranged our chauffeur to pick him up. Ms. Kumalo is coming with an assistant. She leaves from Cape Town today to Zurich and then will be taking a private plane from Zurich to London and her assistant will be driving them to the farm. Mo must have a girl or two hidden away somewhere. If he is not here with his entourage, he is here to play. And if Armour is coming with a bodyguard she must be afraid someone is stalking her. Like they were after her father. We need to keep an eye out for her safety. Yes, sir. Li Wei and his daughter will leave from Shanghai in the evening their time, traveling to Dubai, then a direct flight to London, and will be here in two days. That is a long trip. They will probably have terrible jet lag. Yes, sir. Well then, Colonel Pittman is already here, Razor is performing in London, and can be here in a matter of hours, Chef Sebastian Estefan has sent his staff ahead to prepare as much of our kitchen staff as he can, and he will be here during the entire time our guests are here. He is coordinating the staff with Fiona. So it should all be fine. Great work Nigel, thank you. It is my job, sir. No seriously Nigel. You do great work. I have been very impressed with you. You keep a cool head. You are discreet and reliable. I just want you to know I notice and I appreciate everything you do. I will make sure you are compensated handsomely for it. Thank you, sir. It is not only about the money, sir. 
I am honored to be given the opportunity to work for a gentleman like you, sir, and humbled at the trust you have in me. I will not betray that, sir. Ever. Never. Enough of that sentimental tosh, Nigel. Let's go shoot some birds. I need the practice. I do not want to look foolish when hunting with my guest. To be continued.